Welcome everybody to the last episode of the fifth season. Okay, the fifth season of the series, which is for the last episode of the season. We are basically ending this season. Uh, the league is almost in the bag. Let's take a quick look. Look, I have a lot of points and still one game at hand. It's, it's impossible for someone to catch me at this point. And the only thing to be decided is this cup. Uh, the first hand, the first hand, there I go, back to the Portuguese habits, the first leg of the Copa do Brasil we won, as you might have seen on the previous episode, and now we're going to play the second leg and hopefully grab that trophy. And then um, I'm going to go back um, or show the live commentary and the game, whichever game will decide the title, which shouldn't be too far away, maybe actually against Cruzeiro because they are in second place, aren't they? Yeah, so maybe the game against Cruzeiro will decide it. Uh, actually, it's, it's immediately after this. Hmm, okay, then it might be unlikely this game will decide. Anyway, whichever game decides the league, I will um, do the live commentary and, and then I'll tell you the plans for the next season, uh, show you some transfers and some stuff that was happening at the end of the season and, um, and prepare for the next one. It's going to be this episode. So let's get just uh, right into the final because obviously we want to win since we cannot win the Libertadores because Palmeiras. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. Just it's depressing really, but uh, if you want to share my depression, just go there and, and check it out. And uh, yeah, okay, we have these guys cannot play, fortunately. Rena is a bit tired, so let's put Rene. And I think... Oh, we're playing with Car Caioli, are we? No, I think I prefer to play with Cuellar. He's not a main player, but he's a very important rotation player, so I'm, there's no way he's going to live. Anyway, let's get into the game. And we just don't have to lose. As long as we don't lose, we win this. So, guys, it's as easy as it gets. Playing at home, we are in very good form, playing very well, wow, great pass. And now get it cross? Uh, no, of course. Out of 20 times I say I need a great cross, well, maybe one time it happens. Don't let them shoot so much space. Oh, really? Can I just have a, a relaxing game for a change? Come on, guys. Dentinho, aren't you going to go to the box and use your height advantage to head the ball? If we can actually cross or do a decent cross, there is. <laughs> Next time I'm scouting for wingers, I will definitely pay more attention to the crossing stats. Okay, we're just calmly exchanging the ball. I guess it's not bad. Kaká trying to plow his way through the defense <laughs> and it's not high rate of success and uh, look at this corner just <sighs> I don't know what to do well I should probably try to change the set pieces but uh, I'm not too bothered by that set pieces in this game are, are not the best thing ever made very basic not a lot of options so that's why I don't bother too much with them but maybe I should I'll reconsider it eventually at some point but for now, I just want Lincoln to make a pass here, Dentinho, Dentinho, yeah, Dentinho never misses, except when he does, but all the other times, he doesn't miss. Good. High pressure, look, the guy can't, he's forced to make a mistake, he can't uh, do a pass, and then Dentinho completely alone, nice first touch, and then very calmly put it in the net. Okay, it's in the bag, guys. Only the, only the FIFA World Cup keeps e e escaping us. But I'm learning as I go how to manage better the squad because I think that's the main problem. Yes, the tactic might need some adjustments here and there, which I've been doing. Um, and if you have been following this series, you know the adjustments I'm talking about. But um, I think it's mostly me and the squad management. I, I don't resist selling a a player at a profit, you know, making good deals, it's difficult to resist. This season I resisted, I have a few <laughs> players that are unhappy because of that, but tough luck. 
and I just need to to manage this better I think and keep the main players and making sure I yeah I manage the whole squad better I think I think that's that's the main problem I have to tackle and I think I've learned the lesson I definitely have learned the lesson I'm going to spend a lot of time scouting players prepping the team Ooh, nice shot Kaka and and to make sure that next season we we are at a hundred percent capacity and a hundred percent ready for the challenges and because also uh, this season went much better in internal competitions because I grabbed the team slightly earlier than when the um, league started because in the previous um, two seasons what I was doing was I, my, I just went on holidays left my season manager to manage all the games and I would be back from holidays on the first game of the season and that didn't work out I don't know exactly why maybe because it doesn't rotate the play wow nice goal we scored from across guys we scored from across <laughs> Luis Fabiano crossed the ball and Lincoln headed the ball to the back of the net this is a rarity look cross header <laughs> okay the goalkeeper should have done better but still <laughs> this is what I'm complaining they don't do too often yeah and apologies I'm really not paying too much attention to the game because I, I think this is done deal and so I'm just telling what's in my mind for for the next season what's been happening uh, so far okay we again our, our high pressure uh getting some rewards and indeed almost and yeah that's basically it uh, i think the fact that i was um grabbing the team just as the season was about to start affected overall performance and i think it's because the season manager or the ai of the game doesn't rotate the team very well so now i'm grabbing the team like two or three games before the league starts and that clearly yield results yeah, no change at half time. Let's just yeah, let's just go through it. I don't know how to celebrate really, because you know it's like yay, <laughs> you know, and the games are so easy. It's like the the path to get here was tough because uh, the last two maybe three seasons, I think three seasons we couldn't do anything good at all at the Brazilian Cup. So this is actually a very important trophy, and it keeps a lot of money. So it's actually important, but. The final has been so one-sided that uh, yeah, it's not not very exciting, is it? On one hand, it's nice to see such domination over a, a, a strong opponent like we are having. That you know, the excitement factor is not too great, and that's why I'm just rambling about what we've been doing wrong on this season, on previous seasons, and, and what's the plan for the next season. And it again, it oh, Martinez, why, why are you doing this? Did you just see that? Why we are winning 2 0, well, 3 in aggregate, game completely in control, and you're going to be set off. Oh, you idiot. Oh, okay, we should still be okay. I mean, it's only half an hour left, but why, why? Let's put who? Oh, Caio! He's a midfielder now. What? Why is he a midfielder? <laughs> okay. Well, then I have a role for you. Here you go. It's a bit weird. Okay, uh, let's stop playing then. Okay, I guess I should pay a bit more attention now. Just in case, one goal can change a lot. Highlight for them. We should, we should, we should be okay. When I see the team, when the highlight starts, and I see the team well positioned, I normally relax a bit. And that's why I'll, when I saw the way <laughs> the team was uh, positioned, I was like, nah, they're not going to score. And now we need to refresh the team a bit. And I'll save the last substitution for the last few minutes. Things are fairly quiet, and we have a corner, I guess it's game over. Minute 93, another crappy cross, but what else is new? Yay, guys, we won! A little bit of excitement with the sent off, but nothing really happened.
Yes, Tim, you did very well. You did very well. Uh, yes, Everton Prazeres, you are absolutely right. Yep. Oh, Martinez, you're such an idiot. You're such an idiot. Yes, I'm going to uh, fine you for two weeks. Yay, thanks Flamingo supporters. Thank you very much. And I made a promise which is to win the FIFA World Cup and I will not leave until I deliver on that promise. <laughs> Barcelona wants Lincoln. Mm, if you open up your wallet, uh, I might consider that. Budgets have 136 million and I don't have any one that I want to buy. It's so frustrating. <laughs> You deserve, yes, of course you deserve, but I'm very happy that you are mature enough to not take this personally and just, you know, take it like a man and hopefully improve. <laughs> Look at this. New team record, yay, for poor discipline. Yeah. Does it surprise, if you've been watching the series since the beginning, does it surprise that Nandes had <laughs> the record? How is he doing, by the way? In Mexico. Uh, can I see the red card and stuff? Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> no yellows though, that's a bit surprising, but yeah, there he is. He's himself, you know, that, that, that needs to be respected. Here we are, going to play against Cruzeiro. Unfortunately, I cannot bring all the foreigners. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, I already have five. So you have to be out, sorry about that. And I want to let Renan rest a bit because he was playing a lot of games and he was very 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 tired and I want Martinez to also chill on the bench a bit it's a bit too aggressive for my liking and I think everything else is good so let's just get into it curious to see how well Cruzeiro plays although they are far away uh, from us in the league um, they're still in second place, so they are our most um, direct rivals at the moment. Highlight for us, is it? Do we win a header? But we don't win the second ball, okay. But he does a stupid pass. Kaka, where are you going? Nice pass for Dentinho. No, that wasn't the right decision. But he's only 18 year old, Dentinho, so he'll learn, hopefully. René, not too bad. Lopez, that was a bit optimistic. Another highlight for us, hopefully. Dentinho, you're a bit far away from the box. Good pass, Moreno. You cross well the ball, don't you? Yes. Oh, come on. Oh, so close. They saved it kind of in an epic way. Cruzeiro kept the net out of trouble. Wow. A okay, very boring first half, except that uh, almost opportunity we had to score. Nothing is happening. I need to substitute Montiel because he's injured. I'm going to put the kid Cashew. Let's go. Okay, no highlights at all. What a boring game. I need to do something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Carcaioli in the midfield to hopefully introduce a bit of creativity, much needed creativity, I should say. And that's basically it. I don't have a lot of offensive options. Not to say none. I could play Lodi, but I want to let him rest, so I'm going to let him rest. And you guys figure out how to score, okay? Corner for them. Nice. Is there a counter attack coming or what? Okay, we don't let them approach our goal. That's good. Well defended, guys. There's some space there. Don't let him get inside, nice. Counter attack, no? I guess not. Carcaiola, you're going to make a great pass. Uh, you did, Tintinho! <laughs> okay, I didn't want to put Renan, but look at René, he's completely KO, so yeah, I need to put him. He's just a little bit, and immediately, a highlight, okay. Renan making an immediate impact, I guess, on the game. 
Kaka, great pass. And now I need a great cross. Lincoln didn't win the header. Another great cross. Tintinho. Ooh, so close. But yeah, Moreno did two great crosses. Another one, Moreno. Three in a row. Come on. Come on. No. Okay, this was a very boring game. Ooh, they almost scored. I was almost going to bite my tongue there. Yeah, this was quite a boring game. Look, no shots on target. We did have a couple of clear cut chances. What have what have we done? Yeah, Jonas had to, to do the tactical foul. Come on, don't 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 concede in the last minute, please. I guess the, the guys that are right behind us and we we, we came out I think this is positive. I think we came out on top. They would would be the ones that needed to win if they wanted to have a, a fighting chance. And Montiel is injured for for six. Okay, that's not too bad. Next we have Goyana Sport. Okay, so I'm going to do what I I, I, I told you previously. I'm going to skip uh, the games until we have the decisive game that will give us a title. Be right back. Apparently, this might be the game of the title. I just scored a goal and in the comments it appeared that uh, the title celebrations are about to begin and I'm like what? I don't remember seeing an identification you know in the inbox and the messages that, that uh, oh if this and this happens you can be champion maybe I missed it or not so apologies if I did miss but here we are so we just scored a goal against Sierra on the last few minutes of this game I already did all the substitutions, which is a typical normally I just refresh whoever is more tired or if that player has a, a yellow card, look Flamengo start celebration almost ready to begin and that's when I pause the game just to see oh, what the hell is going on? Are we going to be champions right now guys? It's not a big surprise obviously, but it's still always a nice feeling to be champions of Brazil title that I thought was going to be easy and actually it's been freaking hard and after three almost three seasons we are going to get back to the top of the Brazilian football come on time pass faster what are you doing Jonathan don't take the title away from me now I start the recording okay <laughs> game over I already put defensive uh, are we still going to have a Another goal just to clinch it, really? Kaka, what are you doing? Good, good. No need to rush things. What are... <laughs> as soon as I say no need to rush this guy, just... I don't know what he does. Are we going to be champions? Come on, time, pass fast. <laughs> so much suspense. Okay. Easy. Full time. I pretty win, uh, take home, I don't see any celebrations, was this a false alarm? Was this a false alarm? Okay, there's a lot of points difference. Yay! Flamengo clinch campeonato brasileiro, Serie A title, yes! Oh, I must have missed it! I must have missed it! I win predicted! Blah blah blah. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I was looking at only at the, the title, the headers. Uh, they normally say in the headers that oh, you can be champion, but here can potentially can uh, require results elsewhere to be in the favor. And I guess they did went to the fi yay party time. <laughs> nice. Finally, after two seasons, this is the third season. We are three years later. 2023 we get our hands on the title amazing so what did we win this season Campeonato Brasileiro yeah I guess we won this although I don't know what to say here anyway we won that and this is and yeah guys that's it we won I'm going to uh, do a, a, a break oh Fuba was the best scorer with nine finishing <laughs> it's the best scorer Jesus <laughs> ah, this game. And, uh, what the actual f How the f can these guys 
be world champions. <laughs> oh my god. Here I am. I just let the game run until it stopped. I was doing other stuff. And then I come here on the 1st of Jan. Oh, let me just check how things went in the FIFA World Cup and Palmeiras won it. How can they win first time they go there? Oh god, I feel incompetent, that's what I feel. And even more motivated to turn this thing around. How can they win or not win? I have to see this game, I'm sorry. I have to see the highlights. Just the key highlights. Look at this massacre. These are f***ing bastards. These f***ing lucky bastards. I feel so jealous. <laughs> this is all jealousy, guys, by the way. I'm completely jealous. Been there two times. And one of, one of those times, uh, it was, I guess, Man City. And we were completely massacred. Like they were. But they, for some miraculous reason, they... Uh, they went to penalties and they won. I don't want to win one. Okay, enough whining. Let's see what happened. I mean, with 30 shots, this probably is going to be long, long highlight period. And they won on penalties. Ah, these, <laughs> these lucky, lucky guys that making me feel so jealous. Okay. And they are trying to do a brute force attack and they could do it. Ederson, what are you doing? You used to be Befica goalkeeper. You're betraying me in a way. Of course you aren't. But, uh, look how lucky they are. Look how they scored this goal. <sighs> okay, this is the next highlight. Next, uh, what I can I can understand. Ooh, <laughs> they could score another one. So the first half, Man City didn't do anything. So I guess they woke up on the second half. Dybala. <laughs> what the hell? Am I underestimating Palmeiras or what? They finished like seventh in the league or something. I have to check where Palmeiras finished. It's something about the Palmeiras tactics. It must be like optimal for these knockout games. Oh, and Man City only won, only won, only scored because of a penalty. So in open play, Man City couldn't score a goal against Palmeiras. Yeah, they, they must. They must have something. They must have something. Whichever tactic they use, it must be awesome for knockout stages. Unbelievable. And Man City had some chances, but not like amazing chances. At least, yeah, some corners. But yeah, they could only score against Palmeiras in penalty. Oh man, it's going to be so exciting next season to play against Palmeiras. My blood is boiling. I want to... I think this is wrong. Okay, the universe is wrong. This shouldn't be happening. Palmeiras shouldn't be world champions. What the hell? How can... How can Man City... I don't... I don't remember seeing like a clear chance of goal. It's all stuff like this. Or corners. Or, or shots from outside of the box. Like the previous highlight. And, ooh, <laughs> went in, and the Palmeiras almost won before the pen. The best chances of this game were for Palmeiras. They actually deserved it. The bastards. <sighs> I don't understand my own performance. It, that's basically it. Okay, I'm feeling feeling extremely jealous. As I went twice. And John Felix is from Benfica. My two Benfica players. In case you don't know me, or new to the series, I'm a Bifika supporter in real life. And my Bifika players made poop here in the... in the final of the World Cup. How can this be? I'm in shock. Look at the history. Past winners. So it's been 11 years since the Brazilian team. It should have been me. <laughs> It should have been me. <sighs> okay, let's take a look at the stats. So we dominated this league completely. 
let's take a look versus previous seasons so we got 97 points a lot more than previous yeah a lot more than here yeah okay so we yeah wow we really yeah we did very very good how are we in terms of records was this most time winners palmeiras okay palmeiras is the team to beat oh my god this is so cool okay i have a target viewers i will replace palmeiras as the dominant team in brazilian football although they don't win the league for ever <laughs> okay, since, since i arrived here basically but they are still the top team no it feels right no sorry it feels wrong <laughs> feels wrong and oh i was three points away from beating the record from cruzeiro so yeah in terms of statistics that was um that was it season preview yeah i was uh, they were already expecting me to win nothing new there and uh, in terms of goals 74 it's not amazing it's not amazing goal scoring defensively yeah, we do very well defensively I think we look at the players top scorer fuba and i'm i keep my eyes on him although he only has nine <laughs> nine finishing he seems to be a very interesting player lincoln 16 Pff, don't understand why Raniel, who is he oh this guy is nice but he's already too old for the type of players i'm looking for 27 Renan Rossi, another striker that has crap finishing and the Badoj, ooh this guy is cool yeah, am I f what? I should be, he should be on my shortlist, yeah this guy looks very nice I don't know, only 63 but okay this guy looks very nice, oh he's someone is trying to buy him I just noticed, who is trying to buy him? Monaco, oh, yeah, I'm not going to compete with an European team and Juventus and Chelsea. I don't know why my scout says 63. I think he's clearly much better. Who is he? Jonathan. You're not too bad. I don't understand. And, um, oh, where were we? We were on the stats, yeah. So, that's in terms of goal scoring, assists. Nilsson. Taking me, yeah, not bad, but I have plenty. Tete, our player, Alain, midfield center. This guy is interesting. This guy is interesting. His defensive staff, uh, staff, stats are average. Let me get us an update scout report. Diego, okay, not too bad. Leo Principi, okay. And in terms of average rating, I think we already saw. Let's take a more detailed look. Is there any youngsters? Carlos Roberto, striker. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Because I reckon Lincoln will disappear very soon. I have half of the best teams in the world chasing him, so I don't think he's going to hang on much longer. Yeah, okay. Nothing here to too interesting hmm left back ah talking about left backs i have some news to show you i'll, sh I'll, I'll show you in a minute okay i actually need a right back as well let me scout this one and jean pierre oh. and laurie mm, right back but this technical is just non-existent okay so what i wanted to show you is our new assigning I got Antonio from Sao Paulo, 20 year old kid, okay, not amazing technically, uh, but his determination work rate is high and he has a lot of potential ability, so physicals are great, mental very good, technical needs to work on, but with all this potential and with the work rate and determination being so high, I think he might be a good player for us. So yeah, I bought him by the clause because some Paul didn't want to, to sell him so this was his release clause so you very yeah very high hopes for him which means that our uh, dear old René is probably going to be moved away is is okay though for rotation but now with the kid I want to, to use the kid as a rotation and obviously 
Lee Lodi is our main guy so he's going to continue being that way for the foreseeable future and uh, since we are at this screen look at our guys let's take a quick look uh, based on position so in goalkeeper this guy is developing quite nicely and is wanted look how many players are wanted in my team surprisingly at the attack not a lot are wanted but look at this look at my attack well mostly teams of potential but the ability is also not bad I know I don't have more people chasing these guys, but I don't, by the way, I don't mind. I'm not going to complain. So yeah, defensive-wise, this guy is good. This guy has a lot of potential, but I think he needs to rotate. Yeah, on loan, so fortunately, we have a lot of teams interested in loaning. Guy is a good rotation player. Becomes Jonas. He is our best central defender, and he has awesome stats, so he's going to be very good for us if he stays. Let me check the contract. Yeah, only for domestic clubs, so it's fine. He's not leaving anytime soon. This guy is also good. René, we already talked about. Antonio, yep. So we have a lot of youngsters, as normal, with a lot of potential, but now they are maturing. Now they are 20-ish something, and before they were like all in their teens. So the team is maturing. Hopefully next season we'll finally win the FIFA World Cup. Club World Cup, I should say. Yeah, so we have a very very good team if there's any player in particular you'd like to to take a look that i haven't shown i just let me know in the comments below and i'll i will show you the, the stats for this lincoln you know them right you know him that um he's been improving a lot but it's still i think he should do better i hope i'm not being too harsh on him but i i think he should do better than what he's doing for us with these stats he should be scoring much more he wasn't even the top scorer of the of the Brazilian Championship look. He should be scoring like uh, almost a goal per game, I think. And look at the average rating. Seven, barely seven. It's not... Yeah, he scored shitloads of goals in the Brazil state, but that's because we play against a lot of crappy teams. And uh, yeah. Yeah, he should be doing better. That's why if I get a very good offer, and because... Oh, look, look at the names after him. <laughs> so yeah if I get a very very good offer and I'm talking about 60 million or above I don't think I'll sell them for anything less um, but I, I would consider a sell just because I, I think he should be doing better than he isn't and there's so much um, attacking potential in the Brazilian youth that for sure I can get another one and we have one of them in our team actually the you look at him He's going to be, I think, much better. Let's take a quick look at these numbers this season. So he already scored 16 goals. In terms of average rating, look at him. He's better than 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 Lincoln. So yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't say no to a very good offer for Lincoln. What else can I show you? I think that's it, guys, for this season. The goals for next season, you know, win the Libertadores so we can try to win the the FIFA World Cup, I mean, if Farmeris can do it, we should also be able to do it, right? Right? Ah, I hope so. Anyway, we have plenty of money, great squad, I will still try to uh, snatch a few more good players, try to keep hold of most of them, look at this, how <laughs> many players are wanted. So, and yeah, and then I'll meet you at the beginning of next season. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!